If you ever have a heart problem, the first thing I think you feel is a tightness in your chest. And uh, I felt the tightness when I had this first heart attack. And uh, I kind of ignored it. And then a little later on, it felt like when you have the intestinal cramps or something, you know. Ooh. I said, we got to go, we got to go. Hunter Henry has been fighting heart disease for years. Congestive heart disease runs in his family. What doctors found during Hunter's catheterization were blocked arteries. Many of the people we see have already had heart surgery and their disease has progressed and they come back and we're able to avoid a second operation, which would have, some, of course, a higher uh, risk. And if they have additional blockages or new blockages or even the bypasses itself are blocked off and we can treat those to avoid a second uh, open heart surgery. To help patients like Hunter avoid surgery, cardiologists offer a procedure called rotational atherectomy. It's one type of interventional treatment that helps open coronary arteries blocked with calcified material, restoring blood flow to the heart. Calcium tends to build up, and sometimes this calcium is so hard that we cannot get the normal angioplastic balloon or stent in the artery. There is a procedure called rotational atherectomy. My patients call it the rotor rooter uh, in which a tiny diamond tip burr is spun into the calcium blockage and it spins at somewhere around 150,000 RPM so it's really moving along and the tiny particles that are broken off of the calcium blockage are so small that they just simply flow through the circulation because they're actually smaller than the red blood cells. Uh, and this enables us to break the severe blockage, open up the artery, and then once we get to the softer underbelly of the blockage, can then proceed with angioplasty and stent. This minimally invasive heart treatment worked for Hunter's blocked arteries. And there's a good follow-up picture. It's slightly irregular, but wide open and normal flow through there. Hunter received world-class heart care from top specialists at the Spartanburg Regional Heart Center. Well, I just felt, you know, almost like another person, I guess. Uh, I had more energy and uh, I could go, go. The Spartanburg Regional Heart Center, providing quality heart services to the upstate for more than 20 years.